All right, Irie. Uh, anybody else that sees this video, this is uh, how to make your own battery cables uh, using welding wire. So first what you're going to do is you're going to buy the welding wire of your choice. Uh, they make all different kinds, they make super flexible, all the way up to like double lot. I mean super thick, wide stuff, big stuff. Or you can run even smaller stuff. Uh, I went to a little bit larger over manufacturer size, probably around the like one aught size, so pretty good size, but nothing crazy. Uh, next, uh, when you're at the welding supply store, you then need to pick up some, these are copper terminal ends. Uh, you obviously need to make sure you get the correct size that's going to fit on the actual cable itself, but then making sure that the inner and outer OD and ID are going to work on your battery terminal. In some cases, you might also have to drill these out ever so slightly. Uh, the next stop, next stop from there is once you have your battery cables cut down and stripped and you got them at the correct length, the next thing you're going to do then is come over to your melting pot. Um, what you're going to do here is once this is super hot and obviously you have this one in a liquid form, take some soldering flux, doesn't really matter who is it by, just mix, take some uh, soldering flux hit that on the terminal end hit that on the battery cable end and then dip it into the melting pot that will then make it nice and solid it will bring all the cabling together that way it makes it a lot more usable and in some cases you might have to heat it up a little bit and take a pair of pliers of some sort and correct the ends a little bit so that way they will then fit into the terminal ends from there, you're probably going to need a second hand, um, and you'll need someone else to help you out, but what you're going to do there then is, essentially you would then be holding the terminal end here, you're going to fill it with the flux, and then you're going to take your torch, and then essentially you're going to, what they do, they call sweating it, or you're going to heat this up to where the flux starts to become uh, really bubbly or really hot once that's nice and hot then then you can go ahead and then insert the cable into the terminal end and then you might have to use a little bit more heat to then liquid to get the solder that's on the end of the battery cable into a into more of a liquid state and then it will then slide itself into the end of this terminal end once that's done let it cool and it'll essentially it's going to solder the two together, uh, making a really, really nice connection. Um, and no crimping is needed. That's the best part. You don't have to crimp these. Uh, once it's cooled down, then you can then take a shrink tube, heavy-duty heat, you know, heat shrink tubing. Uh, my choice is obviously a red and black. And then slide it over, and then you're going to take your heat gun. Uh, you can buy a really inexpensive one at... Uh, at Har Harbor Freight for about 15, 12 to 15 bucks. This is a Milwaukee, costs a little bit more. Uh, you can also buy one of these uh, melting pots on eBay and Amazon uh, for about less than $20, usually around 15 to 12 to 15 dollars. Um, if you want a nice propane torch, the propane itself's not too expensive. Um, the Benzomatic ends are a little bit more expensive. Obviously, you're also going to need some flux. Uh, you'll need some kind of material to actually put into the melting pot of some form. Um, and then you could probably also get away with using some heavy-duty soldering wire. Uh, obviously, a pair of vice grips of some sort, terminal ends, and battery cables. So, hope this helps, and good luck, dude.